What's up everyone, it's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. In this video, I'm about to show you how you can add bold.new tools and apps that you create on bold.new. Right here, as you can see, I have an app and how you can embed that on your WordPress website or how you can add it on your WordPress website. So as you can see, currently I have this right here. This is a break even ROAS calculator. Basically it's just a calculator for this type of video. It really doesn't matter what it is, but I want to add this to my WordPress website. Now this is my WordPress website. I actually have here a website ready. And uh, usually how we would do this is we would use this plugin right here. However, you can also do it without this plugin. This plugin basically lets you add a code or iframe on WordPress website. So how can you actually, you know, add this to WordPress website? First of all, what I want to do is I want to go with a prompt after you deploy it, you go with a prompt. Uh, can you create an iframe link? so I can put this on my WordPress website. This is the first step, right? And obviously this is the first step right here, as you can see, this is how it's going to look like here. It also gives you uh, a step-by-step uh, -step plan on how to do this. But basically we wanna go here, we wanna copy this, and as you can see, you can switch to the code editor and then you can paste the iframe code. What I do, since I have bricks editor, I can go to pages and then here on pages, I can add a new page. Now, when I add a new page, I'll just put this as test and I'll publish it. And once I publish it, I can click edit with bricks. Since I have a bricks editor, it will be different, right? And then simply what I do is I go in a section here and then in that section, I add an element right here, which is going to be, let's see if we can have embed or link, text link, okay, no. What we can do is we can have, let me just find it. So we obviously, this will depend on what you have, right, in terms of the code. This will be the code, so we just drag it here. And now in that code section, what we want to do is we simply want to go and paste this right here. And this will be the iframe, right? And then let's see, let's go in a preview mode. Okay, this doesn't work. Let's go back. So let's go back to the bricks. If it doesn't work for the first time, it's okay. Sometimes that happens. So we can go here again, container, and let's go to the code. Actually, short code might be a better option for this. And let's go here. Let's just paste the, the short code here. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. Really awesome. And then you simply go preview mode. This is how it looks like right here. If you want to remove this, you can add that to bold.new to remove it. Um, however, again, this is basically how you can go and embed this on your website. Keep in mind, this is only an iframe. It is good, it will work. However, if you really wanna just put it on a website, I would recommend you to use uh, a plugin. Uh, and that plugin uh, will be right here. If you go to plugins, add a new plugin, uh, that will be called a CSS uh, toolbox. And then with the CSS toolbox, you can uh, get more customization options right here, as you can see. Uh, and you can, you know, this is how it looks like, right? You have a screenshot here, you put the code, you enter a new code block, and then you can add this to your uh, WordPress website. However, this will be different for each WordPress website. I have a bricks editor, so it's different for me. It's going to be different for you. So as you can see, this is the bricks editor. Obviously we can change the height here to be, you know, thousand, right? It can be thousand, for example. And then as you can see, we have a, a lower, uh, lower uh, drag here on the on the right side. So again, this is how you can add the bolded new tools to your WordPress website. Really useful tool, uh, really useful tutorial, at least I think for most of you that want to add these tools on your WordPress website. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, comment down below. I can create a more extensive tutorial on bold.new. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.